Hey there guys and welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. We are the Stokes family and we are so happy to have you here with us. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I turned an old sweater into these adorable knitted kind of cottage style socks. I am absolutely obsessed with them and I cannot wait to show you guys how I did this. Give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you have not already. Alright, so I spent some time in a thrift store looking for some sweaters that might work and I found this one. I like the color, I like the style, and it works just perfect for only $2.99. Of course you can use an old sweater that you already have, but I like all of my sweaters and I didn't want to cut one up and this one I thought would work just perfectly. So all you're going to need for this is a sweater that you don't mind ripping up, a large yarn needle, some yarn, and a pair of scissors, and that's it. So for these socks, you are just basically going to be using the sleeves for them, and so I just stick my foot in there, pretending like they're already socks already, and see where I'm going to want to cut it. Whether you want yours long or short, it's up to you. I do want mine as long as I can get them and so I'm just going to be cutting my sleeve all the way up as long as it goes. Right at the armpit there and I'm just going to cut all the way across in a straight line. And then you just want to cut the other one as well and I actually do plan to use the rest of this sweater for something else. I might make my daughter a pair of socks or my husband but if you want the perfect socks you really want to use the sleeves but after that you can just get creative with the rest of the sweater and maybe make a scarf or some leg warmers or really anything that you want. You can reuse the buttons which I'm gonna do maybe make a piece of decor. For $2.99, you can really get a lot out of this one sweater. So now I'm just going to get my yarn and my needle. I'm just going to thread my yarn through the needle, turn these sleeves inside out, and start sewing them shut. When you are done sewing it shut, you can turn it back in, right, right side in or whatever it's called. And you'll be able to see that there's kind of a big, like it's too big for a sock. And you'll see that very quickly when you put it on. Uh, you can see here I was just trying it on and I've never done this before. So I was kind of figuring it out as I was filming for you guys. And so you can kind of see that I was just grabbing the amount in my hand that I did not want there anymore.
And so here you can see that I just decided to knit down the side the part that I felt was too baggy. Now I did want the top to be baggy, I just did not want the part that was actually on your foot to be baggy. So you can see here I'm showing you that you're just going to want to knit or um, excuse me, you're just gonna want to sew just part of it shut and then sort of go to the side a little bit so that the top can still be baggy but the part that is on your foot is not baggy. So now that I have sewed down a ways, I'm just going to start sewing into the corner. And I'm going to finish it off, making sure that it is nice and tight so that it does not come undone. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut the excess sock so that you don't have just like a big bulge of fabric inside your sock because that would be very uncomfortable. And now that you sewed it, you are free to do that without having to worry about it coming undone. Now just turn it right side in again, right side out, right side in, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you do that and you can kind of see, it, it looks a little bit silly, but when it's on, it absolutely doesn't. It totally makes sense. If you want the top of yours baggy, if not, you can totally sew it all the same and that would look really good too. But I like that kind of bagginess at the top. I think that it really just adds to the style that I'm going for. But yeah, this is the sock finished and I really am obsessed with it. I think that they turned out really good. I'm excited to do this to more socks and I really hope that I gave you guys a good idea on how to do this. These knitted socks are pretty hard to find and they're pretty expensive if you were to buy them brand new. And so I'm really excited that I discovered doing this for only $2.99, I'm in love. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more cozy DIYs. 
I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.